A few words that I would describe scent as a person, one would be energetic. No one can ever keep up with her. I mean, she has more energy than anybody I have ever seen. She's passionate about life. She's passionate about this work. She's passionate about making our community better. People that know Scent Marshall know that diversity, equity, and inclusion is, is not just one of the things that she does, she brings that to every single thing that she does. Scent Marshall is inspiring. Scent Marshall is big hearted. Scent Marshall is wise. Scent Marshall is a sister. Shall I go on and on and on? My mother and father decided that uh, after just witnessing what they witnessed, after living through segregated lunch counters and water fountains and all that, that they did not want their kids to grow up in Birmingham, Alabama. We moved to California when I, let's see, in 1960. So Scent was still in her arms. She was just a few months old. Scent was always the nosy one with the real big eyes, always quiet. I know, I know it's hard for you guys to believe that Scent was quiet, but Scent was really, really quiet as a kid and she would just observe. My mother was big on education, and she still is, because she saw what she did not get in the South. Her memory of the South was just nothing but deficiency. The books didn't have pages, some chapters were missing. They always got the leftovers of what represented education. She really came with very few advantages, and education was her key to success in life. And she ultimately ended up graduating from the University of California at Berkeley, was the first African-American cheerleader at Berkeley. Like she's done everything in life, she succeeded. A good education, and it happened to be a public education, but a good education literally saved my life. It is the great equalizer, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. I just think everybody needs access to it. With Marshalling Resources, which is the consulting company, we have a scholarship. It's called Ascension. That's it's gonna be your legacy. The Ascension program has about 15 scholars, and we are so proud of that. Scent was always one of the best operators AT&T ever had. At one point in Scent's career, I was looking for somebody to head up all of our diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. So I found our top, one of our top operators, Scent Marshall, and asked her if she would become our chief diversity officer and lead this effort. And she set a new bar in America for what a chief diversity officer could accomplish within a company of the size, scope, and scale of AT&T. We were looking for a new CEO. Um, we had gone through a lot of issues at the Mavs and we're looking for somebody who was powerful, strong, smart, could communicate, and also just loved people. And Scent was emblematic of all that. It was just obvious that she's a force of nature. When she started at the Mavericks in 2018, um, I think a lot of people know that our head table was not that diverse. And so she, not only did she diversify the table, but she made sure that every voice matters and everybody belongs. And that is a huge deal to us. She put together training programs, review programs, interviews, continuous communications, so that people really understood exactly what was expected of them, not just in their job performance, but in how they communicate and how they treat other people. Not only in 2020, but in 2022, the Dallas Mavericks won the NBA's Inclusion Leadership Award, which means that we are leading the way in DE&I work in the NBA, which is what since whole goal was when she came in 2018, is that she wanted us to set the standard for DE&I in the NBA and really in the country. I'm blessed to be in this job that already had a foundation around community. I mean, I didn't bring this. I didn't bring this to the map. It already existed. To really reach out to the community and make a difference was already there. And we just said, we gotta take it up a notch. And so we have taken it up quite a few notches. Soon after George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis, uh, as you remember, th this community and the nation was outraged. And Sint was thinking, what can we do? So Courageous Conversations came about very quickly. She put a plan, in, I mean, 
really quickly. We had to act fast. It was an opportunity to unite the community. We're going to listen. We're going to learn from one another's experiences. Sent put together courageous conversations. I had an opportunity to take part in those. Now we currently have a group of city managers and the very people who led the protests, like Mothers Against Police Brutality, sitting down and working together um, on issues. And all that starts with conversations. And so then we came up with something called MASH Take Action. And action stands for advocacy, communication, training, investment, outreach, and noise. And so we put together about 50 initiatives and we would truly try to promote social justice, uh, really call out inequities and disparities, and then drive sustainable change, not just change, but sustainable change. Because I'm about action and traction. It has to stick. She walks the walk. She doesn't just talk about it, she does it. She's doing all these great things in the world, you know, behind the scenes. She also is a CASA advocate, so she wants to provide stability for kids in the Dallas area and really all over the country. I think that is her superhero strength, is that she wants to come in and provide stability for kids. That's her, her number one thing. Uh, my husband and I, we, we, it took us 10 years to try to have a family. And I ended up having four, not one, two, three, four, second trimester miscarriages. Almost died a few times. And so after that, we just knew, okay, the Lord is trying to make our family in a different way. We ended up adopting four wonderful children that all have their own stories. And the Lord blessed me to be the mom now of these four wonderful honeys. She talks about going out there and working with kids. That's truly, truly her passion. She lives it in her daily life. She lives it in her personal life. She lives it with the foundation that there is no length that she won't go to to help children. Dallas is very, very lucky uh, to have St. Marshall. She makes things happen. And she makes things happen that matter. And she makes them happen at scale. She is an absolute upstander for DE&I. She will never stand aside and allow things to just go as they are. She likes to surround herself and align herself with people who understand the importance of education, of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And if you don't quite yet understand any of it, a few minutes with Sint and your mind will be changed. Sint, congratulations on being the recipient of this award. As someone whose family lost quite a few people to the Holocaust. It means a lot to me. As someone who cares incredibly about you, it means a lot to me. I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you work for the Mavericks. I'm proud of everything you've done for us. And I'm just as excited about what the future holds.